Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a what's in my backpack video. I did this, I don't even know, the last time I went to school, and that was a while ago, 2020, 2021. Unfortunately, sad news, I'm back in school, and so I have to take a backpack and take goodies with me, okay? I wanted to be one of those like people or like girlies who carry like really cute things and like make it super aesthetic, but I just don't like school. I'm not gonna put that much effort into making my things cute because I just, I don't even want to be there. I don't even want to go. I mean, some of my things are cute, not gonna lie, but like, it's not gonna be that aesthetic as you guys might think, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I carry this Cankin backpack. I got the one with the pads. The pads actually help a lot and it's a lot easier on your shoulders and my back doesn't hurt as much. If you guys saw my first week of school vlog, I ended up taking another Cankin on the first day and that one did not have the pads and it was really rough on my back and my back was hurting, my shoulders were hurting. It was just not fun but the pads on the cankins do help a lot so if you have a cankin and you're struggling with it hurting your back they do sell pads like separately so you could just buy some for your backpack i love cankins because they fit a lot compared to like other backpacks i've used i haven't really used a good amount of backpacks so maybe i'm just being biased i kind of regretted getting this color because i don't really like it and i feel like it's not really like my kind of color but i got it like i said like two years ago so i was a different person back then but i just have a little pusheen plush she hanging on here. I got this from Barnes & Noble in the little like surprise boxes. I wanted to hang like an NCT or K-pop thing, but I don't have any plushies like K-pop plushies. So I just kind of stuck with the Pusheen. This one's holding a little, a little leaf. It's a really cute little cut. Now let's open her up and see what we have in here. So first on the side pockets, there's nothing. But on the other side, I've been having really bad allergies, especially in the mornings. I sneeze. I've been sneezing a lot. And so I just carry a little pack of tissues. I got this at a wedding at a bride party and it says for your happy tears and she's there in case I get to little runny nose. The first pocket, these are my two necessities ever. Like if I'm like stranded on a desert and I need two things, it would be chapstick because I cannot live without chapstick because my lips are chapped all the freaking time. Probably means I should be drinking water, but okay. And also lipstick, like lip tint. If you were to ask me what's one makeup product you can't live without, it would be lipstick stick lip tint lip something to have color on my lips because i look like a little boy when i don't have lipstick on i look like a little boy when i don't have makeup on period but i need lipstick because i just look more alive and it could be used as blush and as eyeshadow so these are the two products that i love 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 this is the winky lux uh watermelon like ph balance jelly balm i got it from anthropology i like it because it's a little watermelon the only thing is that it tastes really bad like it just doesn't taste good it smells good, but it doesn't taste good. But I put this on first on just like my, my dry lips. And then I use the Smith's Tropical Ambrosia Balm in the tropical... Oh. <laughs> it's this chapstick that I also got from Anthropology. It's really good. It's my favorite. It smells yummy. And it's very moisturizing. The next thing that I carry is my charger i just got this charger too because the one that i had broke but i just carry my phone charger i bought a blue one because blue and the next thing i carry is some hand sanitizer because you never know what gross things you're gonna touch especially at school okay boys have cooties and girls have boobies boys have cooties girls have my heart the next thing that i carry which is supposed to be attached to my keychain but it fell off and i need to put it back on but it's a um heart container and this is where i carry ibuprofen slash tylenol but i just have ibuprofen here because you never know when you're gonna get a headache you never know when your friend your classmate is gonna get a headache i got this from amazon it's really cute it's really convenient and then the next thing that i carry is a portable charger which is literally never charged i don't usually carry it because there's outlets on campus or like on the train or whatever so i don't really need it um i just carried it because this was the only charger i had for my phone when my charger broke but i got this one from the airport lax it's just a pink one it's really good i like it but i'm probably not going to be carrying that so i don't know why it's there and then the next thing i carry is some hand cream sometimes my hands are really dry and gross i hate i don't know if anyone else feels this way but i hate when my hands are super soft not the super soft like good kind but they're like very slippery 
and rough you know like it feels like i just touched a bunch of like sand and it just like slides on everything there's like no grip on my hands and I, I don't like that feeling and i usually get that in the morning when i wash my hands and like i don't like it like i feel super uncomfortable throughout the day the next thing that's in my backpack is this uh lip gloss i got it from urban outfitters it's in the shade cherise it's actually really moisturizing the next thing that i see is this little chocolate i don't know why this is in here because I don't know why and then I also carry some gum because you never know when you're gonna kiss a cute little boy in your class and I'm showing you guys a hack okay because I like chewing gum stream chewing gum but I like chewing gum right because it's a good like anxious tactic but I actually don't even chew gum that much anymore because I discovered a new thing and the new thing is these mints that I got from urban they're called nude mints okay look it's like a fun little game it's like a little maze and then you like pop it out and they look like little fish eggs they look like little little bolitas they're so tiny by the way the fun thing about these is that put them in your mouth you pop the outside layer and then you swallow the other layer and what it does is that it freshens your breath and it also freshens like your gut i think that's how they said it in the packaging i don't have the packaging but it freshens your gut and so when you burp it's not like a bad smell in my opinion it works a lot better than gum because when you chew gum after a while of chewing it gives you like a weird taste and then it just like doesn't taste that good anymore or maybe i just over chew my gum and even with gum when you burp like you still have the taste of the food you ate or just like a weird taste you know what i mean but with this one it actually like is pretty good i really like it so i've just been using this more than this but i still like to carry both just in case could be a cute little flirt thing be like what am i doing okay and it's a good conversation starter guys i'm trying to hook you guys up okay 2023 is a year of getting girlfriends boyfriends partners and then that's everything in this front mini pocket and so now we're gonna move on to the big pocket so the number one thing that i always always take with me are my bosés and i know they're called bows but i don't like the word bows and my friend calls them bows but they're not bows they're bosés to me so i carry my bosés everywhere okay i'm super attached to them i used to be scared of taking them out in public because i was scared i was gonna get kidnapped but i just can't live without these they're noise canceling so i literally can't hear anything and i'm in my own little world music sounds a lot better with headphones on guys these are amazing okay and also if you guys are looking for some good headphones go with bose's i've been seeing a lot of of my friends like not sure what headphones to get and i'm bose all the way these are just so cute and look how they look what is this oh look how they look like i look so cool like i just know i look so good on campus i just know i just know everyone's crushing on me when i have those on they're like whoa what is she listening to and i'm like chewing gum by nct dream the next thing is my wallet oh my god look she's broken i got this cute cinema roll wallet from mercari and the reason why i got it is because when people were asking for vaccines the covid vaccines it fits like right on there it's the same size as the wallet so i carry it everywhere just in case and then i also have a cinema roll little keychain on the side just hanging there a very fun and cute wallet and then inside i have some cash my cards my debit cards my ids my school id do you guys want to see my school id i know you do because it's so freaking embarrassing i look disgusting and i look sweaty who is that bro i remember when i took this picture i was sweating because it was so hot and i hate it and i never whip it out because no thank you i also have some mark lee pictures on there because you need to carry your mans the next thing that i carry is this pencil pouch i got this from redbubble it's really cute they have a lot of cute pouches on there and this one has cats and plants and it was really calling me i heard it calling and I got it. And in here, I just carry pens, pencils, sticky notes. These are the pens that I use. I carry a pencil just in case there's like a test I need to do that it's like a pencil, you know? And then I also have this other one. Um, it's like a little bunny. But the two ones that I mainly use when I take my notes is this one. And it's a little cat. I got it from Urban Outfitters. And look, the tail is like, oh, the tail is like the way to 
Isn't that funny? And then the other pen that I use is this one, which I feel like a lot of people don't use. And sometimes I'm embarrassed to like take it out, but I don't even care because the reason why I like it is because there's a lot of colors. I retain more information when I use colors in my notes to write titles or to like to circle things that are important. So my notes are pretty like colorful, not colorful in like a cute way, but like colorful, messy. Like I'm like starring everything because apparently everything is important. And then I just carry some sticky notes. Of course, they're green and citizen core. And then I also have their little bookmarks to put like on your books for my classes in person I like to take physical notes like pen notes not computer But for all my online classes that are just purely online I do take my notes on Google Docs just because it works better for me that way And then those are also hella colorful like I'm highlighting everything the next thing that I see is this book pouch This one was a gift for me from Fernanda. I know you got it on Amazon though. It's just like a book cover pouch and in here i have the book that i'm currently reading which is learning to talk to plants and then this is the bookmark i have on there and it's really cute as you can see i'm not even close to being done guys i have no time to read which is so dumb and then i also have ooh, driver's permit yeah i keep my I keep that in here because sometimes I drive with my friend and I just like have to carry it obviously And then I also have a pen on the side here added this hole which isn't even part of the pouch But I have this keychain that someone made me from the NCT LA show and it says the link and it says mark Oh, and then I also have the s mini little mini CD of mark on here and then that's how she looks Isn't she cute? Isn't she lovely? Cats mark book that's all i need the next thing that i see is my notebook and guys this is how much i don't care i used this book to paint like a few years ago and i'm just like i don't even care so i only use one notebook for my two in-person classes and i just divided it in half so the first half of the notebook is for my first class and then the second half of my notebook is for my other class i just divided it by this flyer that they gave us about like history stuff my first class is a business class let me just show you guys what i'm learning because it's so fun it's so freaking fun like and i understand everything that i'm learning they want me to find ear right there like that's so silly of them like why do they want me to find ear and then my second class is history and i love history i freaking adore history like i'm so freaking good at it so fun I was joking by the way, I'm failing all my classes. I'm failing all the quizzes, so we're just here thriving. You see a lot of doodles, a lot of things that I don't even remember writing down because I can't retain information for my life. But yeah, I'm struggling really hard, honestly, in my classes and I'm trying not to think about it, but I'm thinking about it now. And I have so much to do that I don't even want to think about it. But yeah, this is just a Vans notebook that I got from Vans and yeah and then the last thing i see in here is my computer charger my laptop charger and look it's yellow it's gross and then also oh, guys look do you guys want a cookie i do i want a cookie fun fact or i don't know maybe you guys knew and i didn't know but when you buy a can can you're supposed to leave this styrofoam thing on there which i didn't know and i would always throw it but it's a seat pad this seat pad this this seat pad stored in the inside back pocket keeps contents from pressing against the back while also making sure a comfortable rest is never far away genius you know everything you're carrying isn't just like bouncing back and forth when you're carrying your backpack like there's like a cushion in between so it's not as rough so yeah if you buy a can can don't throw that thing away because it helps the thing i like about this can can is that there's actually a separate pocket for your laptop and it's right here look isn't that fun so this is a big pocket and then this is the one for your laptop and this is where i carry my beautiful pink little laptop this is my beautiful little laptop look at it this one is a macbook pro retina 13 inch early 2015 i do everything on here but i'm planning on buying a new one because i just need a better laptop especially with like the softwares that i'm using i just need a better one okay but this one's very good very good laptops lasted us a long time so she's a good one and i'm gonna be sad to let her go i also carry my water bottle this one is the purple one but i carry it with this strawberry holder because i remember 
when I went to school like a year ago. I hated carrying it just like this. Like it would be super annoying. And someone on Instagram, their ad is Crochet by Tyler. They make water bottle holders. I really like the strawberry one and it's very useful. And I always get compliments on it. I just carry it like this and it feels like I'm not even carrying anything. And if I'm thirsty, I'll just whip it up and go like... Ugh. Very good. This I carry some days. Some days I don't, some days I do. It just depends. I carry this Bagu bag and I got it from Urban. It's really ugly but cute, you know, like those ugly cute bags. The reason why I got it is because it has two things that I love, green and butterflies. And so that's why I got it. I carry this one when I'm carrying too many things on my normal backpack. Like I don't want to have to carry too many things on my back. But here in this front pocket, I have some napkins because you never know when you're going to cry. I also have a mask and then I carry my coins because I take tra the tra the pub I take tra I take the public transportation sometimes and I just like to carry my coins my coins sometimes I take food to school sometimes I don't again it just depends if I have food or not I usually always take like a sandwich so look at my lunch box isn't she lovely isn't she wonderful i got a green one and citizen core i usually take a nutella sandwich or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with like a banana slice inside because we can't have our stomachs growling in class okay embarrassing and then when i do take lunch i take it in this very cute my neighbor totoro lunch box also comes with the fork and other utensils but i mostly just take the fork so whatever i want to take for the day if it's like rice chicken or like spaghetti or whatever i take it in here there's a microwave in the cafeteria on campus so i just go there heat it up and munch away when i got this i was like it's a little bit too small but it's actually a very nice portion of food like i'm always full when i finish the food like i'm always set you know it's a really good size i got this in la in a little um asian market boom i always carry a banana this one's not as bruised that much but um usually they are pretty bruised but yeah i always like to take a banana i don't even like bananas but they're a good snack to have if you're getting a little hungry i have an apple here too I don't even like apples either. And then I also carry a pouch. Here I just have necessities. So I have pads, band-aids. These band-aids are really cute because there's like strawberries. And then my keys. This is my keychain. Kang Sung. I have a tail. My pepper spray. Frog plushie that I got from Urban. A watermelon keychain. Another frog. Mark was in here, but then he got lost. Oh my gosh, look, doesn't that look funny? Mark was in here. But then he got lost and I got lazy to put him back in. And then whenever I don't carry this bag, I put all this stuff in my main bag. I literally look like a psycho on campus carrying all these things and I'm always struggling. Carrying my big backpack, carrying this one and this one falls off my shoulders. Then I'm carrying my water bottle. <sighs> and then on top of that, depending if there's like a test or something or if I didn't do the reading, I also have to carry these. So I carry my history textbook. I've read like three chapters of it have no idea what's going on in that class what's funny is that they sent me a loose leaf and i didn't know i ordered a loose leaf and then i was really confused because it was just a stack of papers without any like binding to it and i was like girl what and then i told my dad and my dad oh king bob the builder he um added some little bows some little string on the edge and i just found out that loose leaf it can be convenient because instead of taking the whole thing you just take the pages of the chapter you need for that day and then it's just like a little thin stack you know instead of taking the whole thing so i've been meaning to do that but i just get lazy i don't want to take out the little bows and also i was told you could put on a binder i don't have a binder binders are dumb binders are embarrassing <laughs> Okay, I feel like I was super sarcastic in this video, but genuinely that is what I take to school. I'm trying really hard to be optimistic on school, but honestly, it's really been rough on me lately. I just like don't like it. It'll be fine. I'm gonna be fine. I know I'm gonna be fine. And I have a lot of things that I'm looking forward to later on in the year so i'm not even don't even worry don't even worry but that is basically everything that i carry to school she's a scholar and failing i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know what you guys carry to school do you guys carry this much to school too because i feel like i carry so much sometimes and it's like a little bit overwhelming and i feel like i should downsize but i just need all of these things with me like i use all of these things yeah i hope any of you who are in school right now are doing well i hope you're the semester 
is going great for you and that you're not stressing yourself out too much don't take things too hard i know it can be hard especially with pressure from from family to do well in school obviously i don't know everyone's situations but you know school can get very draining and stressful really really fast and just remember to take care of yourself it's hard i know it's hard and it's easier said than done for sure because i definitely haven't been taking care of myself it's just what happens that's just what students have to deal with unfortunately because there's just like so much to do so many assignments to do that it's hard to like juggle all of these things at the same time i feel like i'm new at this even though i've been going to school for the past like 23 years of my life it's just hitting a lot harder than i thought it would but we're gonna be fine okay we're gonna be fine we're good okay we're good thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on my instagram tiktok pinterest i have a public spotify playlist if you guys want to check that out don't forget to subscribe maybe like if you want if not it's cool if not it's cool i hope you guys are having a great week so far stay safe and i will see you guys in my next video